few days um something that i've never actually well experienced before um you know i've been at aston villa my whole life so everything i've experienced all these past few days has been different um obviously going into a new changing room you know i've not done that i've not done that in my career before um but i know i've enjoyed every single minute of it um everyone at the club from, you know all the backroom staff to the players everyone's made me feel so welcome uh, my and my family for the so well. Um, so now I've enjoyed every single minute. Uh, and yeah, going back to the decision, it was obviously one of the toughest decisions I've had to, I've, well, I've ever had to make. Actually. Uh, but you know, in the end, it just it come down to a few stuff, and it was it was something that I just felt like I couldn't turn down. You know, the chance to to play Champions League football, to to challenge for trophies, and um, to play, you know, next to next to people like Kevin De Bruyne, you know, who I've I've looked up to for the last few years, um, and also to play for the best manager in the world was obviously a massive factor in it. Jack, what's Pep said to you as well about the role that you will have, and also how do you feel about taking on the number ten shirt, particularly with a club being linked with another England player who currently wears number ten as well. Um, yeah, obviously, I spoke, to, I spoke to the manager, you know, um, a fair bit. I'm not going to go into too much detail because, you know, that's between that's between me and the manager himself. Um, I think everyone's seen, you know, in in um, in his in one of his press conferences that he said he thinks that I can play a number of positions. Uh, you know, that is what he has said to me. Um, and I feel like I could do that as well, especially in a team like Man City, who, who have so much of the ball. Um, and yeah, no, getting a number 10 shirt was, was obviously, you know, a, a brilliant feeling for myself. You know, I was kept saying to my family and to, and to my agent how much I would have loved to have had it here. Um, it was, you know, it's some, it's big shoes to fill, you know, after, after Sergio had it for, for so many years and, you know, we, we know what a successful player here he was. Um, but, you know, I feel like, um, you know, I can wear that shirt and, and play well in it. Um, and you know, it just shows, um, you know, how much, how much, you know, the club value me giving me that shirt, and you know, I'll play in it with full confidence. Hello, Jack. Um, right, yeah, good, thanks. Um, just tell me, you know, I imagine that you saw. Lionel Messi's tears yesterday. When you when you leave a club after such a long time, and it, and it is almost all that you've known. And and yes, of course, you know there will be. Uh, you would hope there'll be great and exciting times to to come. But how much of a wrench actually was it for you to leave Villa? No, it was so tough. Um, I think everyone knows that. You know, obviously reported back for. Um, for the pre-season as I, as I was meant to, you know, I, I, that's when the manager wanted me back. So I obviously went back for a few days. It was, it was obviously difficult um, because in, in, in the back of my head, you know, I knew that I, that I might be going. Um, so I didn't really train, you know, I'd done a few stuff on my own and stuff. Um, but yeah, obviously, you know, it was difficult. Everyone's seen the way Messi was. Um, 
uh, yesterday or the day before uh, his pre final press conference, um, and that is the exact the, the exact way I felt myself. Um, actually, before I left at the at the hotel, you know, I spoke to to the team and the staff and the and the players, um, and yeah, you know, I teared up a little bit myself. Um, but it was one of them, you know, I felt like it was time for me to move on. Um, obviously, you know, I've always said how much I wanted to play uh, Champions League football and, and you know, I couldn't do that at Villa this year. Um, and, you know, I have a I have a football club here that, um, you know, has got so, so much potential. They've had, um, I think, the, like, the most successful uh, English side in the last 10 years. Um, and, yeah, you know, they, they showed so much faith in me um, and I felt like it was the right time. And I know that, um, you know, as you say, the page turns, doesn't it? That's football. The things move on. But are, are you going to keep anything close to you? Do you do that just as a sort of personal link back to Villa? What do you mean by keep close to me? I don't know. Just, do I, you know, wear something, keep something, have something in the house. Um, well, yeah, of course. You know, I've been a I've been an Aston Villa fan. You know, since I was since I was four years old. My whole family has. Um, I had a season ticket since since I was four. Um, went to the club. You know, when I was six. Um, so yeah, you know, there'll always be links there, uh, especially with the you know with the big family that I have. Everyone is everyone is Villa fans. Um, but you know, the at the end of the day, I'm a Man City player now, and um, I just. I am going to concentrate on on being so successful with Man City, and I've come here, you know, to to win silverware and 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 like I said, playing the Champions League. So that's my that's my only focus now. Thank you, John. Uh, next we'll go to James Samundra. Jack, congratulations on the move. It's a six-year deal. What are you hoping to achieve over the next six years? Uh, a lot of stuff. Um, you know, I've come here, like I said, then to win trophies. That's that's what I want to do. You know, I want to have as as many winner, winners' medals as possible. Um, you know, in my career now, I've had a few runners up ones, so um, that's what I want now. You know, a lot of a lot of winners' medals, um, and I just want to be, you know, as successful as I know I can be. Um, you know, I also have. Uh, dreams that I want to do for the for the national team as well. You know, playing in a World Cup, I obviously have a taste of it this summer at the Euros, but I want to be, you know, a regular starter for England. Um, I believe I can be, and I, I want to just play as much as I can here, you know, and be as successful as possible. Has it sunk in that you're the most expensive English footballer of all time? And what does it mean to you that a club has spent that much money to get your services? Um, no, it probably hasn't sunk in yet, actually. Uh, um, you know, it means so much to me that the club, you know, were obviously willing to spend that much money on me. You know, it just, if anything, you know, it just fills me with confidence. Um, you know, I don't think there's any pressure on that price tag at all. It just it just shows, you know, how much the, the club and, you know, the manager uh, value me. Um, and that only just gives me confidence going forward. James, um, Mike, can I use Manchester? Hi Jack, welcome to Manchester. Um, you, you've touched on the, the Champions League there a little bit uh, and the Villa CEO did that Twitter message to fans saying how important it was that you got Champions League football. It is still the one trophy that evades Manchester City, so I assume you're here to win that and you believe the club can win it? Yeah, of course. You know, there was the club, you know, was so close to winning it um, last year. Uh you know, they were one goal away from winning it. Um, that's exactly why I've come here. You know, that's what the manager said to me, you know, when we spoke. Um, and, you know, I look around the change room and there's there's honestly just so much talent and so much depth in the squad that, you know, I fully believe that we can, that we can win it this year. Um, yeah, you know, we have some of the best players in the Premier League and, and like I said, you know, the depth, in every position is just is just crazy. So um I think that's summer that we'll that we'll be looking to win this year along with um every other trophy that's coming. Thank you. Next question from Sam Lee. Hi Jack, congratulations on the move. Um just a simple one really. What 
do you think you can bring to this team in terms of your attributes and your abilities? Um, no, that's one of the worst questions. Uh, <laughs> I'll put some thought into this one. <laughs> really, you just asking me to bring myself up. Um, <laughs> no, obviously, you know, I think I'm different to every player in this squad. I think there's, you know, you have people, um, Raheem, who, you know, wingers that like to run in behind. You have Riyad, who's just, you know, an out and out dribbler. Um, there's obviously Phil, who has, you know, a bit of everything. Um, I feel like I can bring a lot to the team. That's what the, that's what the manager's brought me here for. You know, he said that I can play in a number of positions, whether I'm playing as a as a winger, as you know, as a as an eight or a ten, or even a false nine. You know, I feel like I can bring a lot of stuff because when I do watch shit, there's so much, you know, there's so much attacking talent that are, that can just do everything. Um, you know, that they're changing positions constantly, which is which is obviously difficult for defenders. And you know, even a few days that I've been here, um, you know, I've just the manager's only had what two sessions with myself and. It's just crazy, you know, to see him work the way he does. Um, and it's no surprise why he's been so successful uh, in his whole career. Because um, some of the tactics that he has are just out of his world. And I wouldn't even think of it. But when you start working with him, um, you know, like I said, you just see how successful he is. Um, but yeah, going back to that, I obviously feel like I can bring a lot to a lot to the team. Um, I don't really want to sit here, you know, and beat myself up too much. But uh, yeah, obviously the manager will, will choose what positions to play me in, and, and when I do play, um, I'll be giving it my own. Sam, four minutes next, please. Hi, Jack. Um, just just going back to Champions League football, uh, you mentioned it um, a bit earlier. Um, what's it been like for you in the last couple of years, sort of sitting there and watching? Champions League football and not being able to play in it because obviously you have you know you've got the talent to to play at that level. Yeah, no, it's been difficult. You know, then Tuesday, Wednesday nights, obviously sitting there watching watching the games and and you know in myself, I believe that I can play in these games. Um, you know, I don't think there's anything anything better than than watching um, watching these type of games. I remember watching. Man City versus PSG last year in the standard in the in the first half especially was just it was outrageous you know the, the the way they were passing and moving and stuff like that um, so you know to be involved would be obviously a dream a dream come true and something that I'm desperate to do um, I remember speaking to to John Terry at Villa and you know he he explained it to me and just says when you when you're standing you know there on a on a Tuesday Wednesday night you know and you hear the Champions League anthem playing you know he said there's nothing better. Um, so you know, I, I can't wait to be doing that, and hopefully, um, you know, we have a good run in the in the Champions League this season, and you know, can go one step further than last year. And what is it specifically about Pep Guardiola and the teams that he's got um, that attracted you to to kind of wanting to work under him? Was it man management, or was it just the kind of the style of play that he has, or is it just a bit of everything? Basically, no, a bit of both, really. What you've just said there. Um, Man management, especially, you know, you've seen what he's done with with players here. Um, you know, the likes of Raheem and and Phil, especially. Uh, you know, I think, you know, a few years back, I think people, you know, were saying about Phil to go out on but he kept Phil around. And, you know, now he's transformed him into one of the easily, you know, one of the best talents in, in the world. Um, and then obviously everyone knows, you know, what he done with Raheem, who's, you know, one of the best, one of the best wingers in the world as well now. Um, so I feel like, you know, he can take my game to the next level. Um, I'm going to be learning off him every single day, uh, listening to him. And I, I generally can't wait to work with him because, you know, just, as I said, just, um, I've been here now for two days and and honestly, the way the way he is in training is just, it's unbelievable. Um, I can't actually explain it. Uh, you know, the stuff that he has, Certain players doing in certain positions. It's just something that I'd never actually think of. And then and then, you know, it just works. Um, and you know, everyone here, um, everyone here is is so desperate to play under him. Um, so yeah, it was obviously Pep was obviously a massive, massive factor in, in me coming here. Hi 
Hi, Jack. I know we've spoken a little bit about the fee, but do, does that fact that you're the first British 100 million pound player put pressure on you or, or can you just forget about that and just play your own football? No, I don't put no pressure on me whatsoever. Um, I, I take that, you know, as a as a compliment. Um, I actually like it. You know, it's a, I think it's a good side to have. Um, I think, you know, when when you see a football club play, paying that sort of money, you know, for a player, it means, you know, they trust you and value you highly and, and see so much, you know, potential there to work with. Um, so, yeah, you know, I just see it as a, as a good thing and I just hope, now that I can repay this whole football club um, by winning as many titles as possible and um, winning, you know, that that trophy that that we all want. Hi, Jack. Um, Aston Villa, it's been kind of everything goes through you. If Aston Villa are going to create anything, it's you that has to do it. How do you? Will you find that knowing that there's other players around you who can do the same, well, not the same things, but that can create as well? Because it's, I suppose, a, a little bit of a compliment that you, you had to do it, Aston Villa. Yeah, um, yeah, I see what you mean. But I've obviously been playing for the national team now, um, you know, for a year. So I've kind of got used to it there because there's, Obviously, like you've just said, you know, there are a lot of players that can create as well. Um, you know, we, we, you got to remember, we also did have players at Villa who were extremely talented and that could could create as well. Um, but no, I can't wait, honestly, just to play with these players. You know, sometimes at Villa, I'd get, I'd get doubled up. Um, and, you know, here it would probably be more difficult because, like you've just said, you know, there's so much talent um in them attacking areas all over all over the all over the pitch that you know it might be harder for for defenders and teams to teams to double up on me which will give me more more space you know more more freedom to attack players 1v1 um so yeah no I, I think you know obviously it comes with its it comes with its perks as well so um now I'm looking forward to it and I honestly cannot wait to to get playing with with all these players and you know, it can take a bit of time because, um, you know, you need to find that chemistry um, with these with these players. But I feel like, you know, after a few weeks, um, I'll, I'll have that chemistry with, with all the attacking players and I look forward to it. Simon, can I take two more questions, guys? Because then we need to get over to Sorry, sorry, did you say me? Yeah, yeah, yeah so, sorry about that. Uh, Jack, uh, you, you mentioned England there. I know, I know obviously City's, the, City's the, the focus, but, you know, with yourself and Phil and Raheem and obviously there's John and Kyle and Pep's been quite clear that he would, he would like to add Harry Kane to the mix. Do you feel England could potentially be huge beneficiaries here? Uh, you know, and Gareth could end up with a... With a with a group of England players that are are hitting the heights together on a weekly basis for the club. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I just I just touched on it there. You know how how much um, talent there is. Obviously, you know I spoke to these guys at England um, about Man City, um, and you know they all had nothing but good words to say, but. Like I just said there, you know, it takes time to, to build that chemistry. And, you know, if you're playing with these players, um, if you're playing with them uh, week in, week out, you know, you, you build that chemistry. And, you know, if there's obviously a fair few of us playing for, for the same clubs and then going off to the national team, you know, I think that's some of the, that um, Gareth would, would probably like because, you know, like I said, you have that chemistry. Um, you know, we're all young as well. Uh, obviously, Walks, he's... He's probably he's got the the body of a you know of a twenty year old you know the way he's so strong and fit and fast and stuff. Um, but then you know we're all obviously young, uh, striving for success uh, with with our clubs and and with the national team. Um, so yeah, I think that's some of the 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 in them obviously you know love really because um, like I says, it gives you it gives you that chemistry.
Hi, Jack. Um, you, you mentioned some reasons that, that, that made you come to Manchester. Um, I wonder if the World Cup was one of them, as in shining for Man City in the big stages could, could convince uh, Southgate even more of your talent for you to get even uh, more important for him aiming the World Cup? Yeah, it did, actually. Um, listen, I could name you, like, six or seven reasons why um, I ended up coming here. Um, you know, there was quite a few in the end, you know, working under the manager here, playing with, uh, you know, world, world-class world players, um, obviously challenging for for titles, um, playing in the Champions League. You know, there was a, there was a good few reasons, but, yeah, also... Obviously, the World Cup. You know, we've, we have so much talent as well at, at the national team now. You know, people that didn't that didn't even go to the Euros. Um, but I feel like you know, if I'm if I'm performing for um, for Man City, you know, week in week out, and I'm playing in the Champions League in Europe, um, I'm performing to the way I know I can. Um, I feel like you know, it could it could set me up to have. Um, obviously a brilliant future with the national team and, and you know, try and start in these games at, at the World Cup and, and in the qualifiers and stuff. Um, so, yeah, that was obviously another important reason. Thank you very much. Back to you, Hendricks.